Hello, audience. Welcome to the Joel Safari. Ahead is the road less traveled, and I, the Joel, will be your tour guide as we explore together. Today, we resume our tour of Minecraft. There we go. We're off and running. Rah! Let's see here. I have a plan. It is a mighty plan. First off, we need to make another pickaxe out of iron because our current one is nearly dead and dead pickaxes tell no tales yeah. and I guess we should make another shovel because these ones are not going to last much longer even combined not much juice between them there we go now we have all this iron and all this redstone let's make a compass. That's the way if we go exploring, we can always find our way home. Because our home is very near to our initial spawn point. There we go. With all that in mind, we look pretty good to go do some exploration. We've got torches, and sand, and cobblestone, a little bit of meat. We can collect some meat while we're out, which is probably a good idea. Well, let's also take our flint and steel and our shears so that we can see how they work while we're traveling. There we go. There we go. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's take all this cobblestone with us. I have a use for it. So we're, if we find anything cool, we should make a marker. So, not all travel begins this way, but today our travel is going to begin by going underground. Because I want to mark where that ravine is. You guys remember that ravine from that other episode? That? Yeah, that's the right place. Okay. So we're going to go back down, and we're going to find that ravine that we left behind. And way back in, like, I don't know, episode 2 or 3. And we're going we're gonna to exit it. And we're going to go see where it leads. There it is. Alright, now we need a way up there. So I think I'm going to do is make a little alternate path along here that will lead up to it. New torch. Oh, my pickaxe. Oh, I'm a lot of stone pickaxes. All right, let's go back and get a few extra stone pickaxes because we don't want to waste our steel ones just digging our regular things. We want our steel pickaxes in case we come across diamonds or redstone or anything awesome that requires a steel pickaxe to dig at. Iron, I should say. There we go. Got some sticks. And we'll just make a couple more stone pickaxes real quick here. There's one. There's two. That should keep me out of trouble. And most of our exploration today is not going to require pickaxe work. This is probably going to be about it. Alright, back in we go. There we are. And we are going to go and once we mark that cool ravine, we're going to look around in a bit, and then we're going to go find other cool things. Yes, cool things, they are out there, and they must be found. Ah, I can dig once more. Did I leave any stone bits behind? I did. Stone bits. Because, you know, I wouldn't want to waste perfectly good cobblestone. <laughs> Alright, so now we're back in this big old ravine. Let's see what's in here. A little bit better equipped than I was before. See, it's not entirely above ground. This might be part of a cave complex. Let's see what we can find over here. Let's just not make it hard to get anywhere in here or anything. People like to say that Notch's brother is a ghost, and he goes around the game making stuff that looks like it was made by people. It's a myth, but that's still kind of a cool story. They call him Hero Brine. There we go. Yeah, we got some iron. I always like iron. Be able to make lots of neat things with this. All right. Oh, even more iron. Cool. So yeah, this is a nice, nice big ravine and a quick way to get down low in, in the underground. If we can find anything worth staying around under here for. I'd be interested in seeing. Oh. 
need to switch back out of that. This goes down a bit lower on this side. What we'll do is make like a little staircase to get us back up here. There we go. Okay. There we go. The only problem with the ravine this tall is that there may occasionally be some action going on up at the top that drifts down here. See a zombie there? You might not see coming because it'll just hit you from above. You know, the zombie or creeper falling in on you and such. Yeah, we found us some coal. Can't beat coal. Coal is what makes things go. There you go. Makes me some torches and some powered mine carts. All right. Lots and lots of beautiful, beautiful coal. Makes my life super awesome. You're the one, coal. You do it for me. It's that. More coal that is way up high that I don't want to get. We have some water. It's intersecting with some lava. That's kind of cool. Let's, uh, let's get over here. The only thing is, we don't want the water to push us into the lava because that would be unfortunate. Let's see. Yeah. So we just have to be mindful of our surroundings and not get killed to death by burning, burning molten stone. Ah, zombie. <laughs> the zombie fell in the lava. I laugh at your misfortune, zombie. Not because I'm a bad person, but because the zombie was intending to kill me. Alright, so... Anytime that water naturally intersects with lava, it creates obsidian. But I believe it has to intersect with a source block of lava, not this leftover lava on the edge. But then there's usually only one source block for this kind of lava, way up on the top or something. And you can tell a source block from a regular block because you can pick up a source block with a bucket. Ah, so much coal. I didn't want to spend this whole episode digging coal. Uh, but that's the whole point. I'm going to mark this location so that I can find my way back. Since we already have a tunnel that leads here, it's not such an important thing. But I figure this is the co first cool formation I found, and thus want to mark its location. Thus, thus. There's so much coal in here. If I ever need coal, I'm going to come back here. Now, unlike when I'm mining, when I'm just exploring an open cavern type area, I'm not too particular about where I put my torches. Coal and iron, coal and iron, coal and iron. Wow. A lot here. There's no easy way back up to the surface, though. Except through the tunnels that I was using earlier. That's a big ravine. I guess I'll just start trying to make, like, a... Like a staircase. Kind of work my way up. See if we can find a place that looks naturally accommodating for such a task. There's a zombie up there. Hi, zombie! What you doing? Is it just hanging out up there? How'd you get there? Alright. Alright, we'll just start here. We'll get up as high as we can in here. Yeah, this kind of leads up. We'll start by going up here. Because then we'll be up as high as we can be. And once we're up as high as we can get, we'll just kind of keep going. There we go. Put a new torch in over here. Whoa, what's that noise? That sounds like a bad noise. Yeah. And we'll just kind of, as we go, build ourselves a little in-the-wall staircase. We're not, like, going into the stone. I guess another way to ascend would be to make the tower that I was going to make to mark this from here. But having it all the way down here doesn't really matter. And then there won't be a way to get out except through my tunnel. And I kind of want an outside method. There we go. And so as we go, we're just going to kind of follow along the wall and make, like, a little built into the wall staircase like this. It's a nice kind of natural way to work your way out of a place. Just kind of adding your own stone steps to the natural wilderness here. There we go. And so now we're kind of embedding ourselves in the rock. That's okay, we'll work our way back out. Ah, relaxing Minecrafty music. Now, the only danger about doing this sort of staircase is that it's kind of like 
you just kind of fall off of it. Looks cool, though. That's what's really important. Who cares about safety as long as it looks cool? Am I right? No, probably not. Yeah, a lot of dirt here. I I lost my exit. Not my ravine. That's okay, because we're out. Ah, creeper! Jeez Louise. Oh, welcome to the surface, huh? Kind of a difficult way to start things up here. There's another creeper stuck in the tree and a skeleton. Oh, if I didn't come out in this forest, I'd be all kinds of screwed. Alright, guys. You wish to battle me? Then I wish to battle you. If you're not skeleton, I will remove you from life. Why you gotta be shooting me? Alright, there we go. That's some dead reckoning right there. Haha. <laughs> Jeep! I want your wool. Pow! Wait, wrong button. Right click on a sheep with the shears to remove their wool without hurting them. Left click if you're dumb and you don't know what you're doing. And then you just hurt them. Oh, a spider. Hi, spider. What's that? You got some string for me so I can make a bow? Oh, you do! And whatever that thing is. I'm all full of stuff. Uh, I can plant this tree real quick. No, plant the tree real quick. Oh, wait, no, I can combine these torches. There we go. But I'll still plant the tree, because I'm a nice guy. Tree! Okay. Oh, a piggy. Kill me a piggy. Hello, Ms. Yol, piggy. I'll bring you a swift death. You're welcome. Alright, so now, we're here by this awesome ravine. And in case I want to be able to find my way back later... Wait, where's the awesome ravine? That's just a hole in the dirt that the creeper left. Where'd that ravine go? It's kind of gigantic. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're here by this awesome ravine. And I want to be able to find my way back to it. So what I'm going to do is similarly to... Ow! Ah! What? Oh, man. I think a skeleton just shot me and knocked me into the ravine. What a jerk. Now I have to go back in my house, back to the ravine, get my stuff, climb back out, get my revenge. Man. I tell you, the forces of evil just don't give me a break long enough to combine things. Come on, forces of evil. What do I look like Like, like I'm doing here? I'm making an important video to, to educate people on playing the game so that they'll come fight you. If I can't do my job, then you're not going to be able to, to entertain, you know, get anyone to fight. No one's going to play your game. Don't you see? You need me. Ow. Man. Darn you, skeleton. Oh, now the sun's coming up. I hope you fell in after me. Well, at least most of my stuff is still here. When you die in Minecraft, you drop all your things. And usually you can get most of them back. Not always all of them, but usually most of them. There we go. That's pretty much everything. Now I gotta reorganize my junk. Junk, 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 junk. Junction, junction. I got junk. Most of it has no function. Junk, 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 junk. <sighs> yeah. So much stuff. Too much to manage. Erg. Okay, sword out. I guess that's the basics. I'll, I'll straighten that out a little bit more in a minute. Okay, that's good enough. Man, skeletons. Okay, now we gotta use our staircase to climb back out again. Well, at least I got to show you, the fair audience, how it, how uh, dying in Minecraft works. Yeah, that's, that's what happens when you die. Don't you feel special? Don't you feel entertained? Death. A morose game. Alright. Let's get back out of here. Alright, skeleton. Where'd you go? I hope you're killed by the sun. Is that ocean? Cool. Okay. So, like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my untimely death. 
we are here at the opening to the awesome ravine and we're going to use a stack of stone and a stack of dirt to create a big tower so that we can find our way back here just in case we're ever wandering around and say hey you're in that cool ravine where is that cool ravine anyway we'll totally know where the cool ravine is as long as no skeletons shoot me anymore into the ravine but ah, ba do. This is super exciting. So I know this is what you came here for, audience. To totally watch me build towers out of dirt. Yeah. I know what you like, audience. I bring it to you. It's flavor. It is sweet. Now, we are going to make this go up as high as we humanly can. To make it as visible as possible over all these annoying trees that dot my landscape. And once we reach the top, we'll have a nice view of our surroundings. In a little bit more this direction than our house. As we did look around a bit when we were on top of the tower we made for the house, but there wasn't much to see. It's all forced. How high up do I gotta go? I should be pretty near the top by now. It's getting all misty. I think this is a good place to mark because that is a cool ravine. And from what I can tell just by looking straight down, it is one of the major features of the nearby landscape to my house. Okay. So we've reached the top. Can We put, we can put a torch there. Oh, cool. Now I'm going to stand on the top. Wow, clouds. Clouds, you're, you're obscuring my vision of the landscape. Okay, let's go down a little bit. There we go. Now I can see. Alright, so it looks like in most directions we have forest, as far as the eye can see. And we got a big body of water that's starting over here. This might be interesting. And we got our ravine, and can't see it. But over there we got our house, and more forest. Okay. So that's pretty much what's the nearby landscape to my starting location. I see a bit of a cave there on the right that we might check out. But I think that's pretty good for now. We marked the first major landmark that we came across. And what we might do here, since we've put a big marker in place, is dig another hole down to the bottom and connect it to our existing mine system as a method of getting to safety in case we're in a bad position. So later on we'll probably just dig a big hole that goes all the way to the bottom and then figure out a way to connect it to our existing mine. And hopefully we'll come across a nice cave system while we're at it. Now we need to head home, so I'm going to put my compass in my inventory so I can see which way home is. It's that way. Compasses are pretty useful. Whichever way the red arrow points is your house. So if you want to go towards your house, you just make it so the red arrow points up and go that direction. Ta-da! Now where's my fence gate? Ah, oh, here it is. I marked it. Fence gate. Fence gate. And I made it home safely. And with that said... This is where our tour stops for now. We have made it this far together. Please return soon for the next episode of Joel Safari.